Hey, uh, I just read uh, something from 2 Corinthians. I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was amazing. 2 Corinthians 2.15 For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one a fragrance from death to death, to another a fragrance from life to life. And uh, I thought that was amazing. How we are the fragrance of God, you know? And, and I, th I thought of it like, you know when you have a bottle of perfume and you just squirt it and then all these little particles are in the air, you know, and you can smell them. And, and when you smell them, you know what's coming in the force from in the bottle, what's in the source, you know? And we are those little particles in a sense. Like God is God is that, that source, that bottle that you squirt. I mean of course God is more than that, I'm just you know, in the metaphor, obviously. Um, and I mean God is God is love, right? And He's put His Spirit in us and because He's poured His love in us through his Holy Spirit, he's poor, you know, that's Romans 5. Uh, we can love like God. And we can live like God because he's put his spirit in us. So when people see us, they see God and they're drawn to him. You know, it's just like if if someone smells that aroma, they're like, wow, that's beautiful, you know, and they're, and they're drawn to the source of that. They're, they, they, they enjoy it. and. Just like that, we can represent God, live as people of God, and they can see Him in us. The Bible says that we are um, ambassadors for Christ. What's an ambassador? An ambassador is someone who represents, right? And if we're going to represent Christ, it means we need to uh, live like Christ so that they can see him. You know, the ambassador, let's say, of the United States in my country would represent the United States. He, everything he says and does reflects uh, the government of the United States. <clears throat> uh, but here's the thing. God's put his spirit in us, but we can only represent him well. We can only be that aroma if we allow the Holy Spirit to have free reign over our lives. Because if I'm suppressing the Spirit of God, if if, um, if I'm doing things my way and not the way that God wants, then they're not seeing God, they're seeing me. And they're not smelling that sweet aroma of God, that love of God, because God is love. They're, they're smelling my aroma, which is death and, and, and stink and, and, and whatever, it's horrible, because it's sin. And it's wrong, and it's not, it's not from God. Uh, and I would not be representing Christ. I would not be a good ambassador. But if I allow the Holy Spirit, I don't suppress the Spirit, and I allow the Holy Spirit to, to guide me and lead me and change me, and I follow God, I follow Christ, I hear His voice and I obey, and I do. Uh, the things God has commanded, and not, not through my own strength, once again. If I do through my own strength, then that's not God. It's, it's God in me, changing me. And as I'm connected to Christ, as I'm connected to that vine, I bear fruit. You know, I, I, as the Holy Spirit changes me on the inside, I show outwardly what's going on inwardly. And as I do that, People can smell that sweet aroma of God. They can see, as I love people, they see the love of God. As I speak, as I, whatever I do, they will see Christ in me. And they can be drawn to Him. Thanks guys, God bless you.